Now, have you ever heard of the legend of Sir Beavis of Hampton? It is a tale of great adventure, heroic deeds, fair maidens and dangerous quests. And now this figure from Southampton's history has been depicted in a new comic book series, produced with the backing from the Borough Council. So I climbed atop my trusty steed and made haste to Eastleigh to bring you tales of blood and valour. With popular culture fascinated with the realms of Middle-earth and the Seven Kingdoms, Southampton might seem like an unlikely place to find adventure and daring quests. However, the tales of Sir Beavis of Hampton have been given a new lease of life on the pages of a comic book. Blood and Valour is a new comic book adaptation of the ancient legend of the knight Sir Beavis, who is Southampton's legendary figure. It's the first part of a much larger story. It's a locally produced comic with a local writer, local artists, um, printed locally, produced locally, supported by local council. So very much a local project about a local story. Well, it's part of a program that we were doing about Ashenkor. We received grant funding to uh, look at the impact of that battle on our local region. And we're trying to find lots of ways into that story that would appeal to different age groups. And in exploring it, we found that this was a character very much like King Arthur. He had all these adventures. And from that, we thought it was a really good project, particularly to engage with young people. So we did a whole primary school project about it. And then we thought we could reimagine the story again for, a, for an older audience. And this is how Blood and Valor has developed. There are moments where Beavis defeats a giant wild boar by plunging his sword down its throat and cleaving its heart in two. And so these kind of these massively heroic acts and these larger than life events which very much lend themselves to that kind of fantastical story and by that very nature lend themselves to the idea of comic books and there's, there's moments of Beowulf and Tolkien, there's all of those things that lend itself to these exciting adventure stories and the comic book format is perfect for that sort of thing. The book makes use of traditional drawings as well as digital artwork to help the stories jump off the page. It was a combination of finding local artists and also trying to find styles that would work well together to tell the story. So you have Marcus's artwork which is the, um, the hand-drawn black and white artwork is um, kind of fits quite distinctly within this kind of slightly fantastical medieval period. And then you have Guy's artwork, which is kind of the, the coloured splash pages which are created using digital artwork and photography. They highlight these moments of the story which are slightly larger than life, slightly kind of almost hyper real. Um, and so it was finding an exciting way of combining those two styles and letting them work together to tell the story in a, an exciting and dynamic way. And so I've kind of taken the seven, eight, nine versions of the Beaver story that I found, I've read all of those, and out of those have kind of pulled out my own version of that. And so there's, there's so much of the originals there as well, but there's also a lot of me in there. There is something about the act of reading a book, whether it's a comic book or a normal book, you know, having the, you know, the pages turning, the physically turning the pages, feeling the weight of it. That has always been tremendously important to me as an individual, especially something like this because it's what everything that Blood and Valor is trying to do is kind of bring this old story back to the surface and back into the, the everyday and to be able to do that physically as well as you know through the social media and the website and all of those things, I think that's quite key and quite important because that's we didn't used to have all of that stuff, we used to have to write things down. Once we'd told the stories, we'd write them down, and so I think there's something about that that's, that still, for me, will always be very, very important. It was with backing from Eastley Borough Council and the Tech Hub that have really helped to get this project to print. Each year we recruit um, some new creatives that we will support, so we will help them develop their craft and, and develop a career, a sustainable career. So. Um, um, Matt's come through our sort of writers program and, yeah. and Marcus and, and Guy are on our associate, digital associate programs. We're going to be going out to recruiting new um, artists soon, new creatives. So if people are interested in wanting that support to develop, then please check the Tech Hub website and we'll be uh, putting call out soon. Because this has been such a local project kind of all the way through, it will be lovely to have local independent businesses as well if any are interested in stopping it. So we're kind of trying to keep that, that local theme as much as possible. This is Richard Stringer for That Solent.